This Hispanic Heritage Month, we set out to get answers for a question many have probably asked themselves. Do I use Hispanic or Latino, and am I using the term correctly? And what's the difference? CBS 8's Chris Grow went to Southwestern College to see if he can get the answers. In an ever-connected world, one thing that can make someone feel left out is not knowing what box to check when it comes to their ethnicity. I think it's more convenient for the two-party system to have these labels, right, and then to, to have the vote. Do we have the Hispanic vote? Do we have the Latino vote? That's crucial. So this Hispanic Heritage Month, we wanted to sort out what many, including myself, find themselves wondering. Am I Latino, Hispanic, Latinx, Spanish, or all of the above? Some students take a lot of pride in, 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 in their ethnic roots. But before they do that, they, they have to learn about them. So we took our questions to Gerardo Rios, professor of history and Mexican-American studies at Southwestern College. So let's start with the biggest one. What's the difference between Latino, Latina, and Hispanic? There's actually a big fundamental difference. Latino is more inclusive because it also acknowledges the Dutch origins of many Latino people, French, Portuguese, we have the Caribbean, where so many languages are spoken, where so many people immigrated from Europe. Okay, and now Hispanic? And Hispanic is more inclusive of the Spanish-American experience as in the Spanish Empire. The Spanish Empire that was established uh, with the landing of Columbus in 1492, and then with the conquest of the Aztec Empire, in 1521. So it seems history, language, and background all play a huge role. As a Cuban American, I feel I can identify as both, so can you? A Brazilian, for example, right. would not identify as Hispanic, whereas someone who is Mexican or Salvadoran can identify as both Hispanic and Latino. That's, that's the difference. Okay, that gives us a clearer picture. It's more Venn diagram than separate boxes. But what about Latinx? Professor Rio says it helps to eliminate the gender assignments of Latino or Latina. However, he says there's been pushback recently. Now people are going back to Latino or Latina. There's a little bit of, of, of a pushback, I think, with the term Latinx. A lot of people do not identify with Latinx, for example. So what's the best way to feel more confident in how you identify? Learn about your origins. Learn about your family history. Um, it'll definitely change you for the better. Reporting for CBS 8, I'm Chris Grell.